brought in the Feeny show. Or Perfect. what do you call it? Welcome the Mindsets to the Brian Buffini Motivation. Show. <laughs> what do you love the best about Brian Buffini? He's got like just a, a wonderful way of like approaching being a people person. A people you know, person. His exactly. stories yes. just kind of like, you know, just give you a, a good like direction and you know, just a, a good thing to catch on to and hold on to and then and then use back on. Yeah, and you know what I feel like Brian Buffini works like we would naturally want to work. Working by referral, working with people, talking with people, connecting, Absolutely. all those things that come naturally and what make us love our job. Exactly. But then, right? Uh, but, and then feel more natural about it, but just really systemizing that so we don't miss anybody or we, we keep on track and we set goals and some of those things. So I think that's why we're drawn to Brian Buffini to begin with because it's how we like to be. For right? sure. And I think that he also does, sometimes those of us who are very relationship driven mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, service people, because yes, yes. we love our job, we love helping yes. people, but sometimes I think we forget that we're actually running a business as well, Yeah, and absolutely. we can tend to maybe not, you know, focused on yeah. the fact that we're running a business, and the best thing that we can do for our customers is run a better business as well. Absolutely. Is that you must build a huddle. You can't do life by yourself. You have to build a team around you. Just like when I get in that huddle and Joe Flacco is in that huddle, he bends over, he's gonna give me warning, he's gonna give me encouragement, and he's gonna give me instruction. I need that in my daily life and in my daily walking. Because I need that transparency. I need to be able to be able to vent and be vulnerable. Because vulnerability allows growth. Mm. You need to get with some brothers that are gonna our sisters that are going to encourage you, instruct you, and give you the things that you need and be transparent. I'm not talking about yes men. I'm talking about people that are going to tell you when you need to, when you need to pivot and when you need to push. You need people that are going to tell you when to, when to pivot and when to push. These people are going to be truthful with you. When people, when negative stuff wants to come into your life and people want to say negative things about you, they're going to push that stuff out because they're going to continue to remind you who you are and who you are meant to be. Mm -hmm. So the question is, who's in your home? Who's supporting you? Who's helping you? Who's coaching you? Where are you taking your input from? Who's your confidant? And uh, I think that's a big thing. The, the next thing. Hi, welcome back to Roadside Real Estate. We got so lucky <laughs> that we were able to convince this amazing guy, Brian, to join us today on Roadside Real Estate. Oh my gosh, my seatbelt's oh seat not on. Oh, 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 safety. Okay. Safety, safety first, okay. safety. Yeah. Why don't we let you tell your story? What's your history and give us a little background on how you came to be part of the Buffini family oh, and company and how that all came you together. You know, I'll tell the short version. Give us There's the short. a long version. This is, this is a short thing. So Absolutely yeah, no short. I'm only going a couple blocks, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, long time in the business, um, had a software company, loved doing that, sold that business, and um, it was all about staying in touch with people. The software company was about e-marketing, direct marketing, staying in touch, but I always knew the Buffinis, and after I sold my company, uh, Brian kind of sought me out, and uh, here we are today. Yeah, I'm, I'm are, right? working yes, for a great company, it. helping uh, agents connect with their sphere of influence and do that in, in a great way. We connected, uh, of course, you. over yeah. technology. We did. And we've kind of all become friends, and this is how we got you to come into this car tonight. <laughs> yes, and, uh, kidnapped. Yeah, little right. say, totally kidnapped. <laughs> Where do you see, you know, the the fitting together of technology, relationships? Because yeah. in real estate, you, you always want to have that fine line of doing a little bit of everything because you want to connect with people but there's so many different ways to connect with people what yeah. would you say would be kind of the connection yeah, between the two fit together? I think my biggest piece is simplicity okay yeah. I think with all the noise we get we get offered so many different tools and toys and excitement I think that the best way is to pick a few things and do them really well yeah. as opposed to trying to do everything. And and I think most people, Jen, have it right in their fingertips already. It's mm. like free. Social media rocks. Yeah. Social media yeah. is a great yeah, like way. I like connecting. I like engaging. Mm -hmm. I like making it about the other person. And so 
there's no better cheat sheet than, than, than uh, Facebook. Right. True. Amazing. I like the fact that you're bringing new school to old school. So with the new school, you have a, a quick way to learn about people that is, I mean, it's a little invasive, a little weird if you yeah. dig too deep. Right. Yeah. There's stalkers, don't do that, okay? <laughs> yeah. but, if you, yeah. right? but most people don't pick up the phone anymore because they don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah. If you go on True. social and you see that someone just bought a new dog or they, they, you know, they have uh, their kid just graduated from high school. You have a point of connection, a moment of similarity that you can reach out, say something, and and have a conversation about. And I think that's bridging the gap between tech and relationships. So right using there. it more as like a conversation starter. Well, and how to use technology in a relational way. Yeah, it's, there's Absolutely. so much noise going on in our world. No, I agree. Uh, I agree. So tell us about this. And I and I love when you speak. We've seen you at Martech and at some of the other conventions that you hold. And obviously. We've kind of turned into uh, groupies. I love this show. I love this show. Wait, and, um, so tell us, like, you talk about sometimes the new shiny object, and sometimes I think people are drawn in technology to something, and they put their effort there, and they realize, oh, gosh, maybe that's not really where I should be. What would you say right now is the new shiny object that people are just drawn to? All right, this is going to feel staged, but it's totally not. I got my snap stuff <laughs> Right here. Here's what I'm saying. You know, Snapchat is a little bit shiny right now. Yes. But it, and it's a cool tool. I have a lot of fun with it. You can be goofy with it, but really, literally, it is a communication tool. It's a, it's like the next texting, right? Yeah. Right. But the the demographic isn't matched up yet. It's it's so I think it's a distraction. I think we already have enough to do in the day, and having six yeah. different uh, social platforms is hard. So yeah. I think I think right now for some. It's it's a little bit of a distraction when you have people telling you, you have to be on this yeah. tool, right? I think too much time. I mean, you forget to then get back to the basics, which is mm -hmm. why I think what you teach at Buffini and Company is so important. Like writing the personal notes, making the phone calls, doing the Popeyes, going to see people, uh, connecting over social, yeah. but then having a conversation with people face to face is so important. Maybe some of this other stuff really is just more of a distraction and a time waster, or maybe a fun way to connect with your kids, but maybe don't leverage that for business. Yeah, sure. so that's how I look at it. It's yeah. really right now. It's not a marketing tool, although some people will tell you it is. Look, look, what are we doing right now? We're we've connected mostly oh, online, yeah. but we're in a car but together, yeah, we're talking, and we're engaging, and we're connecting. Media. So yeah. I, I think I think the marriage of the two is happening as we speak. Right? Event that you hold that you were telling us before that we should attend that oh. you are in charge of, and well, I would love to know more about it. Yeah, the the event that that. I think it's really different than most events right now. It's called Game Changers. It's a one-day event, and there's three speakers. Um, we It's Joe Nego. He talks about... Joe grew up in a blue-collar family, right. and he, he grew up to then make the NBA. He's one of, like, eight kids or some crazy thing like that. And Kevin Buffini talks about, you know, there's, there's right now communications at an all-time high, but connections at an all-time low. So he gives us tips and tools for connecting better. And then I share the secrets of how to use technology to bridge that gap between tech and relationships. So how to use the right tech to really um, amplify and improve and grow your relationships. So it's a really awesome, awesome. one day event. I mean, that, those three speakers alone would awesome. draw. So, and, and where do we find that information? Where do, where do uh, that is attend? That is great. That's awesome, Jen. Thank you so much. It's buffidiacompany.com. <laughs> right. And it's under our events tab for Game Changers. And we've got four more this year in various cities. I think we'll be in Atlanta and Northern Virginia. I know awesome. we're going to be in Anaheim. So just get on there and check it out. <laughs> Have you learned anything? <laughs> you didn't tell me to listen to it. Ah, you tuned us out. It's about connecting. Come on. Anyway, I thank you so much, Brian. I really thank you. appreciate yeah, you taking this ride with us. We just appreciate the time that you take to talk to your clients who I guess the realtors are your clients. Yeah. Um, and you're just and such a great guy. And no, yeah, thank you. You guys, I love... get better at what we do yeah. every day. So we really do appreciate that. Uh, you bet. I thank you for having me. It's kind of fun. And yeah. you got a great show. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. And you guys are running. You're doing incredible things, helping a lot of people. So I, I, I love being around you guys. This great. is great. Yeah. So yeah. good because awesome. you're, you're stuck with yeah, us. Right? <laughs> we're, not we're, we're not telling you where you're taking you. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us thank on you, Roadside Ryan. Real Estate. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.